chilling with Dylan. <laughs> oh shit. What is that? I don't know what that is. This right here. Oh my god. What's up guys? We back again. We back again. Yes! Back again in Malaysia. I know, you're probably asking yourself, Dylan, why the fuck are you in Greece and now you're in Malaysia? Yes. I don't fucking know. The reason why we're here is because the flight is very cheap. Here comes the money, 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 money. And they're in the direction of the Philippines. And that's the country we want to go. Hace rato, Mia se fue a... Quería al super y, y pues llevé un vestido blanco. Porque pues no lo hay y unas sandalias cafés y ya, y estaba yendo caminando buscando una tienda por huevos creo que pensaban que soy una praste Estamos pensando, tenemos la teoría que como aquí en Malasia tienen puro religión y les gusta vestirse como monjas eso estamos pensando, entonces ahorita yo estoy vestido así porque tampoco y no quiero que ellos piensen que soy praste Ok, pues ya no vamos, let's go la cosa jodida de este lugar, si no tienes tu máscara aquí en el edificio, te dan una multa de 200 Malaysian Rimbus. Yo no sé cuánto de esos en dólares todavía. Creo que como es... No sé, te lo mucho. Oh, shit. ¿Tú has subido aquí? No. Very interesting. Next. Next. Yeah, it's not raining anymore. So this is my first time going out, enjoying myself. Where are we going? You want to see my pool? Nigga, what the f? Por si ustedes no saben qué es esa broma, es de que cuando la segunda vez que nos vimos de regreso, ella no sabía que yo estaba en la en la ciudad. Y dije, hey, ¿qué vas a hacer hoy? No, pues nada. Y yo dije, pues vamos a salir. Y tú, güey, ¿estás aquí? Y ya salimos, va, va. Al último de la cita, yo pregunté a ella, hey, ¿tú quieres ver mi piscina? Porque sí tenía una piscina. Estaba cerrada esa hora. Pero estaba cerrado. <risa> y ella sabía que estaba cerrado. <risa> no, yo no sabía que estaba cerrado. Pero sí, estaba cerrado. El chiste es de que, hey, ¿quieres ver mi piscina? Es como una razón fácil de que, oh, pues vete a mi casa y lo pasamos allá. <risa> Gente, las mujeres no tan vestidas como yo pensé que pueden estar vestidas. Yo no sabía que los mujeres se visten así aquí. Yo no sabía. Y yo pensé que era lo normal. Es que también ese viaje no hicimos nada de, de buscar la cultura, nada de eso. Y el pedo fue que, ok, íbamos a ir a, a dónde? ¿A Filipinas? Sí. ¿O era Tailandia? Filipinas. Ah, Filipinas. Llegamos, no me aceptaron mi <risa> vacuna porque es de México. Pa dijo, no, ni madre. Y yo, ay, no. Y ya no, no fuimos. <risa> Guerra del rojo. I love this brand. I love it so much. How many? As many as you want. You need to buy protein. Oh, me the ice cream. Then a whale one. What is this? What is that? I don't know what that is. Wow. Frozen Pangasius full gutted butterfly. Damn, boy! Dory. Feel it. Dory. Finding Nemo. No, God, please, no! Eso que eso que. Casi te chocas con un bebé. Así no lo vi. Esa siempre la excusa. Ah, no lo vi. Oh hell no! This is about the right size for all you guys that are asking. How do you get all these girls in your videos? This right here. Yeah. Oh, como dice Yanni de Friends. Oh my god. Oh my god. So right now we just had him order for a fillet. Hopefully that's gonna be good. Let's see the other stuff here. Catfish. Oh, little fishes. Oh! We 
have finished the day. This whole video is about my first impressions of this country. Um, just my first day, right? And here we have Mia cooking. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we have like the windows out. Let me show you guys really quick what this place looks like. This is the view. Let's see if you guys can get a better view than I can. That's the kitchen. And then we have the bedroom, which is pretty spacious, by the way. And here we have the closet. I haven't actually seen it. I'm just assuming it's the closet. Well, let me show you guys the whole thing. Since you guys are paying for this Airbnb anyways. Right? <laughs> Try to guess, comment down below before you guys even watch this, how much you think this Airbnb costs because you'll actually be pretty surprised. Nice. Here we have the mirror. Here we have the bathroom. It's the bathroom. <sighs> Shower. Here we have another thing. And the bum gun. This is where you shoot yourself, you shoot yourself in the booty. Okay. And then we're back here. So, my experience so far in Malaysia, the moment we got here in the airports, when we are passing passport security, they told us, no, one person per booth, right? So I could go in one booth and Mia was in another. So that was like the first time where we experienced that we were both separate, which is okay because, you know, she knows basic English. But when she was alone, the guy asked her, we need your plane ticket to leave the country, like as proof to leave the country. And during this time, I was with my other person, right? He did not even ask me a single thing about a plane ticket to exit the country. Keep in mind, like at this time, I completely forgot that was a requirement to get into a country. So I even forgot to book the plane ticket. Mia was like five meters away from me. She's like, hey, hey. I'm like, I look back and then she's like, I need my plane ticket, right? And she's assuming that I already have it, right? But then I think she, she mentioned to me, like she saw like this face of mine was like, like, oh fuck, like I don't have a ticket. And yeah, I did not have a ticket. I told my guy, I, I need to go. My girlfriend's calling me, she needs something from me. And so I was thinking like, oh, I'm gonna arrange the plane ticket when I get there. Like, I just wanted to make sure that she just was not denied. Cause if they say, hey, you can't come in, then she can't come in and then all of our plans are ruined. But yeah, I told the guy like, hey, I need to do something to my girlfriend. Like she needs my help. And he was like, like, no, 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 wait, fingerprint, fingerprint. So they asked for my fingerprints. I was like, fuck, okay, well, this guy, my guy is not asking for my plane ticket. So I'm just gonna go with the flow before I like, I cause any red flags, right? That they might ask me. And so yeah, the guy just signed my passport with the visa stamp. And then my girlfriend was like, oh, everything's fine. Like basically the guy, when I was still with my guy, with the passport security, the guy was like impatient. He's like, okay, it's fine, fine, you can go. I was like, damn, these guys are really fucking chill. But no, like over this whole day, what I've noticed is that people don't really care about anything here in this country. Well, I appreciate you guys watching throughout this whole video. This is something very new to us. And so we're gonna see what the couple next couple of days are gonna take us. I am really anticipating like this is gonna be a pretty interesting trip. Bro, it's too much. Should say